every year on the 14th of February. Valentine's Day is celebrated throughout the Western world as a day of love. But historical records reveal that this date hasn't always been about warmth and affection. Across the centuries, Valentine's Day has borne witness to various significant events ranging from brutal executions and disasters. Here are some unfortunate occurrences that took place on this day of love. Execution of Saint Valentine Credit for the romantic traditions we cherish today goes to the enigmatic figure we now recognize as Saint Valentine, though the details of his identity remain shrouded in mystery. In one rendition of Saint Valentine's narrative, he was an ordinary priest residing in the 3rd century CE. During this era, Rome was under the rule of Emperor Claudius II, also known as Claudius the Cruel. Believing that the reluctance of men to join his Roman army was due to their strong emotional ties to their wives and lovers, Claudius devised a straightforward solution. He issued a decree banning all marriages and engagements, aiming to ensure more enlistments into the military. Saint Valentine, perceiving the injustice and cruelty inherent in such a decree, defiantly continued to officiate marriage ceremonies in secret. When Emperor Claudius uncovered the priest's covert activities, he condemned Valentine to a brutal fate, being clubbed to death, and as if it weren't enough, having his head severed. Valentine met his demise on February 14th, around the year 270 CE. In recognition of his courageous stand for love, Valentine was posthumously declared a saint. Today, his skull is on display at the Basilica of St. Maria in Cosmodon, Rome. 1779. Captain James Cook is killed. Among Britain's most accomplished explorers, James Cook chartered lands from Newfoundland to New Zealand to Alaska. In 1778, on his third voyage to the Pacific Ocean, he became the first European on record to visit the Hawaiian Islands and was received with honors. However, when he returned the following year, he encountered a much different reception. After one of the crew's small boats was stolen, the captain decided to retaliate, not by seizing a boat of his own, but by holding Hawaiian king Kalaniopu hostage instead. A hostile mob surrounded Cook and his men as they reached Kiala Kikua Bay with the king. When news arrived that the foreigners had shot a local chieftain across the bay, the crowd attacked. Cook shot one man dead, but before he could reload, the captain was clubbed on the head and stabbed repeatedly before dying in knee-deep waters. 1400. Richard II dies. In 1399, Henry of Bolingbroke, later crowned King Henry IV, deposed King Richard II and imprisoned him in Pontefract Castle, Yorkshire. Soon after, on or near the 14th of February 1400, Richard died. Richard II's deposition led to the rise of Henry IV to the throne, marking the beginning of the Lancastrian dynasty. The circumstances surrounded Richard II's death remain a subject of historical debate and intrigue, though the two chief theories are either murder or starvation by the order of Henry IV. 1945, the Accidental Campaign of Prague February 14, 1945, etched a day of horror and sorrow into the hearts of Prague's inhabitants. In a tragic turn of events, Allied forces mistakenly launched an aerial assault on Prague, believing it to be the German city of Dresden, the intended target. This unintentional attack led to the loss of 701 lives and left 1,184 individuals injured, all of them civilians. The aftermath witnessed the destruction of numerous homes and historical landmarks, rendering 11,000 people homeless. The fatal miscalculation was attributed navigation errors. Malfunctioning radars compelled the 8th Army Force Squadron to manually compute the distance to Dresden, located 75 miles northwest of Prague. Unfortunately, their calculations proved erroneous. 
As a result of this grave mistake, a squadron compromising 40 B-17 flying fortresses mistakenly released 152 tons of bombs upon the unsuspected populace of Prague. The Murder of Al Capone's Rivals Love was conspicuously absent from the streets of Chicago's north side on Valentine's Day 1929, as certain rivals of gangster Al Capone met a tragic end. In the 1920s, Chicago's thoroughfares were under the sway of various gangs, with the Prohibition era fostering a lucrative environment for illicit activities such as bootlegging, gambling, and prostitution. The prospect of substantial profits fueled intense competition among gangsters vying for their share. At the helm of the city's underworld, Capone amassed over $60 million in his ventures, with George Bugs Moran emerging as his primary adversary. On February 14, 1929, a group of gunmen disguised as police officers infiltrated the garage of one of Bugs Moran's bootlegging enterprises. Posing as law enforcement officers, they feigned an arrest of seven men present. You better be kidding. Subsequently, the imposters lined up the men who faced a wall on the premises and opened fire. Although Capone was never formally charged with a crime, all indications point to his involvement, given that all seven victims were associated with Bugs Moran. The Stardust Nightclub Fire The Valentine's Day disco party at Stardust Nightclub in Dublin on February 14, 1981, turned tragic for its attendees. Among the 841 patrons, 48 lost their lives and 200 suffered injuries. Shortly after midnight, a fire ignited in the roof space above the club. The vibrant atmosphere and loud music masked the danger until the heat caused the roof material to melt, releasing hot substances on the partygoers. Panic ensued as people rushed to the exits, encountering obstacles such as padlocked emergency exits, sealed windows, and numerous tables and chairs. Emergency responders were dispatched, but many inside had already succumbed to the smoke and flames. Dublin's hospitals were inundated with the injured and dying. Initially ruled as arson, the cause of the fire was revisited in 2022, over 40 years later. Families of the victims renewed their call for a new inquest, citing a lack of evidence supporting arson as a definite cause of the tragic inferno. And now comes 2024's Valentine's Day. Hope this year, this day turns out to be truly a day of love. What are your plans? Of course, besides subscribing to our channel and hitting that like.